just recently spoke about, you know, writing that whole uh, uh, vignette that you had done. When it comes to writing in professional wrestling, uh, especially when you were in WWE, did you ever go to the writers and pitch any ideas? And if so, how were they perceived? Um, <laughs> great question. Um, I pitched. So it's 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 weird, right? Um, in NXT, I didn't really feel like I pitched stuff, but very like moderately kept it pretty like you know what I mean like I knew my place uh in 205 it was like the uh was like the second coming of me right so I had to like make an impact so in 205 live I felt like I had a lot more creative control um and I felt like I could go up to them and talk to them and in my situation I felt like I actually had like a little bit of a little bit of pull and I only say that by not by the fact that they didn't care about the show when it came to the higher ups they didn't care so when I say I had pull I mean that um, I could talk to the head writers and we could come up with something that we were happy on and there was less pull by you know we didn't have to run it through Vince because it didn't exist in his world um, but then in uh, Raw and SmackDown, when I was with Paul, I could, I could, I felt like comfortable. I could go to Paul uh, and explain or express something to him and get his feedback, and which I did, uh, and got a couple of things changed, which I thought were for the better. Um, but when it came to to other stuff, I made, I pitched ideas, but I felt like. Um, that when I pitched it to a writer, and I totally understand, I'm not the one going into the the, to the writing room and pitching something to Vince. Um, and if they're not feeling comfortable with how I, the idea that I pitched, they're the ones going to get barked back at if the man in charge doesn't like it. So I understand that they're not willing to die on my sword. Right, yeah. because they're the ones going to have to deal with him, and it's coming out of their mouth, so they're going to get the backlash. Um, but I felt like if I did pitch something, it was kind of like we want they wanted us to pitch ideas, but really they didn't want us to pitch ideas because then we're doing their job, and they kind yeah. of went on their back foot. So it was really hard to navigate. If that makes sense on that really long extended answer. <laughs> yeah, no, that that makes sense. Um... And when it came to the Buddy Murphy name, who came up with that? Uh, so I was a big fan. So when I came down in NXT, I had to uh, pitch a couple of names. So when I sent, uh, it was Byron Saxon at the time, who was working with NXT. I sent him an email with a bunch of names. And somehow from my computer to his computer, the email got all messed up and all the names got scattered around. Um and he just picked and matched different names. So several names came back. One name, which I actually liked, came back and was approved. Um, but then when it came down to me introducing myself, one person thought I said Jack. And I was like, oh, and then I had to kind of repeat myself. And when you're repeating yourself, it's not great. You know what I mean? Especially in first impressions. Like they should know who you are. So, uh, and then it actually came down to an autograph. Um, and my real name being Matt, there's an M in my autograph. So the M was very natural, looked very good. Um, and the a B is one of probably the easiest letters to do in an autograph. So the autograph looked very good and that's how I became Buddy Murphy. It's, and they said that I said Murphy funny, like, because I, the Australian accent. So, um, but yeah, it was de like, the names kind of came from uh, things that I enjoyed. So Murphy came from a player called Mark Murphy in Australia. Uh -huh. Buddy came from a player called Buddy Franklin in Australian football. Um, and then I had, I actually had, uh, Matthews as a last name uh, in there too, which didn't get picked up. So it's funny how I can come back and now that's my new name. 
Yeah, <laughs> so that's awesome. Going and, full circle. Yeah. W- what did you think of Malachi Black kind of like continuing his storyline with you in AEW? Because his eye was all black and blue with, you know, he had the color contact in. And uh, you had actually tweeted at him, at you know, before anything happened, saying something like, hey, don't forget about me type deal. And he did that. How, how'd you perceive that? I feel like uh, the me and uh, Black situation is going to be going uh, for a long, long time. I feel like it's just, you know, we created such a, uh, we created such a buzz when we shouldn't have got buzz in our matches. And you know what I mean? It was like this, this love hate relationship, right? Um, that people still talk about today, the math, the series of matches we had. So I think people are very interested in seeing those matches again and seeing them at a different, um, at a different level now that we're both, you know, handcuffed free. So, yeah. um, but yeah, like it's, it, 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 I'm a very detailed orientated person. So the idea of details um, is awesome and not forgetting the past, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's just, it's just a detail thing. And I think that's why I love like the Marvel universe movie so much is because it's so detailed and that's, uh, to how I went about making my new vignettes was like a Marvel universe um, in comparison to his. And I thought that that was a very cool, unique, entertaining thing that if you compare them, right, they're filmed completely different, but there's so much similarities and there's this hidden stuff in it. And that's purely for, uh, for my enjoyment of creating entertainment, but details and the way that I wrestle is very detail driven. Um, whether it's the smallest little thing. And I think that's something that I picked up from Seth, um, working with him was just the detail on such a little thing that maybe the audience wouldn't actually know about, but will make so much sense. They don't even know that that's the, you know what I mean? Like when you're eating something and you're like, why does it taste so good? And it's like, a, like, it's not the salt, it's not the pepper, it's something. We don't know what it is. Yeah. That's what details are, right? It just makes everything so much better, but you don't know what it is. Yeah. So um, that's kind of how I kind of look at it. And I think that that makes wrestling better as a whole, of the details and the, continuing stuff that we did in our past right like i think that that makes you know it didn't didn't not happen <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, so, yeah um kind of go and like i think that's with with me going you know into my uh future is that i'm going to take the best things from all the characters i portrayed from uh the 205 live buddy to the disciple buddy you know but a second coming of them, right? A, a yeah. combination, but the next generation, if that makes sense. So um, that's kind of the detail that I put into the stuff. Yeah, I mean, and you've done phenomenal work in WWE, and I'm excited to see uh, what happens next. And, you know, kind of just speaking of what happens next, my last question here that, that I wanted to, to ask was, uh, what were your thoughts on CM Punk debuting in AEW last night? Uh, so I didn't see it live, but I saw it um, on Twitter. I, I think it's awesome, man. I am a massive CM Punk mark. Massive. Um, and it, 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 it's, it's exciting, right? Like, you know what I mean? And if it's going to yeah. excite him to come back, then, you know what I mean? There must be something uh, brewing in the kitchen. So... Um, I'm excited for it, man. I, and I'm, I'm kind of like, I want everything in wrestling to get better. I think that Punk going to uh, AEW not only elevates AEW, but then might kick WWE in the butt to, to lift some things too. Um, because everyone has the talent for it, right? So, um, but we'll see. Time, only time will tell. Yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate uh, answering those questions for me. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. It was nice talking to you. Thank you. Thanks for the questions. Thank See you, you buddy.
Have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit subscribe so you can get all our content here at Perched on the Top Row. And fans, remember, spoiler freeze, the way to be. I'm out. Mm.